While these winter months can be very long and very dreary and sometimes very boring, if you're looking to do something at your home or give you something to do, why not remodel your bathroom? Linda has all the details with Ivy Lee Construction. Thank you very much, Courtney, and I am here with the man with a plan. Of course, this is Mike Washington from Ivy Lee. Now, Mike, we are past the holidays. Yes. A lot of folks had company and they said to themselves, never again until we redo this bathroom. Exactly. And so this is the time to start thinking about that. Indoor types of projects are perfect. And powder rooms, it's the, probably the easiest room you can update um, and make the biggest uh, statement. For sure, we always talk about cost benefit, right? Bathroom is one of the biggest ones. There's a lot of moving parts in the bathroom and they hold their value great. Mm -hmm. You know, typically when you invest in a bathroom, 75 to 85% of it, you're gonna be able to recoup when you go to sell your home. I mean, when you go in and you wanna look at a house, isn't that the first thing you wanna look at? Usually exactly. was the kitchen and the bathroom. Take a look at the kitchen and the bathroom. Kind of lets you know how they've taken care of the house. Yes, afterwards. exactly, yes. You have brought us some pictures. Mm -hmm. This is an after, but we wanna let everybody know it's so cool, the enclosure part that we, you took the picture before you, you put the actual enclosure in so we could see it better. Yes, this is a job that we actually mm -hmm. finished recently and the glass door didn't go up yet, that there'll be a glass door going all the way around that. Reason I wanted to show you, to show you the tile detail inside of this shower, that there's a shower pan here, granite curbing going all the way around it, tile inlay on the floor, tile inlay on the floor. So that's a pinwheel effect mm -hmm. going all the way through. Uh, rubbed oil bronze fixtures. So she's gonna have a three way. So she'll be able to turn on her shower head and the rain, shed, uh, rain head at the same time. I love that. I mean, take a look everybody. Take a look at, the, at the, those fixtures, the shower heads are so not conventional. Yep, and then we have the niches on the wall that we actually ran the same parallel tile, but now we ran it vertical inside the niche, so for soap uh, and shaving material, stuff like that. And then on the top of the tile, if you notice we ran that all on a 45, mm -hmm. those are big 18 by 18s, the same tile that we used on the floor. It, it, great look, uh, very, very uh, contemporary look, uh, really updated that bathroom. That bathroom was probably about 20 years old and well, mm -hmm. you should have seen them before. I can only imagine. Yes. Mike, if you want more storage, can you do that? We can, we mm -hmm. definitely can. We do a lot of layout. So mm -hmm. the first thing we really wanna do is come to your home and figure out what the needs and wants are for your bathroom. What do you need at your house? And in your budget. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely to work inside your budget. We'll actually get a whole detailed proposal written up. Uh, once you're ready to go on to the next step, we'll get you, actually get you out to our showroom and actually have you pick out all the materials you can use from the cabinetry, to the fixtures, to the, to the toilets, the sinks, uh, uh, faucets, everything, you name it, you're gonna be able to see it, the tile, so you can really see what you're getting and not just pick out of catalogs or books, you really wanna be able to uh, touch and feel and make right. sure you're getting what you want. And speaking from a housewife's perspective, tile is very easy to clean. Right? Very much so, yeah. very easy to clean, and we'll also st steer you towards certain tile. Certain tiles are more hard to clean or just more updating on mm -hmm, them to, mm -hmm. to really keep it really clean and sparkling all the time. Okay. Yeah. Let's continue on. This is another bathroom we did. Uh, and here we actually have a banjo countertop. So you'll actually see that that top comes all the way around above the toilet for more knickknacks or mm -hmm. tissue paper, full mirror to make that bathroom much bigger than it is. That bathroom's actually a very small bathroom there. Uh, and, and that full glass mirror that's running from wall to wall all the way to the ceiling really makes it look much larger than it is. And not only that, but uh, make sure that your light is adequate. A dark yeah, bathroom only sure. you know, accentuates the problem. For sure, mm -hmm. you definitely want that. In this case, we had solid surface countertops, cherry cabinets. We use bis fixtures in here, so just a little off-white that's becoming very popular. For them, they actually went with chrome finishes. Real nice look. Yeah, and that mirror really uh, gives you that, that feeling of more room. This is the other side of that bathroom. Oh. Okay, so this is the, the, the other side. When that picture was taken, someone was standing in the tub. On this, <laughs> we actually have the tub here. Uh, chrome finishes again, so that's gonna match the other side. All the tile detail went around that tub. And you can actually see just in the corner, there's a walk-in oh, yeah. shower that oh, we yeah. added to that bathroom. I see, so even if you like your, your, your uh, tub, it doesn't need to be replaced. You can still do this around it. Definitely, definitely. If your tub's in good shape, again, mm -hmm. and that's the needs and wants. Mm -hmm. We really come out and let's take a look and see what you really, really need. Okay, yeah. beautiful. Here's another bathroom, a real mm -hmm. fun bathroom. So this is a, a kid's bathroom that we did, and they wanted it to be open, but they also needed storage. If you look here, they have a tall pantry yeah. cabinet that they're using as their linen closet. So towels, washcloths, they have a toilet topper above the toilet, they have a medicine cabinet in there, and then the vanity down low. 
I love the little clock. I know, yeah, a little extra. Neat. <laughs> neat. <laughs> and then the tub surrounds. So in this case, there's actually a window inside of that tub. So how do we take care of that? That's a vinyl window you put in uh, all the way around. That's going to be solid surface material. So there's no wood. Nothing can rot. Uh, and then we have a, a sur uh, surround going around that. You know, Mike, I just noticed you have a grab bar here. And that yep. works in a kid's bathroom as much as it does for aging in place. All the time. We put in more grab bars today and actually higher toilets and also higher sinks mm -hmm. for down the road. Because sure. things do change or in case people want to change their house or they're actually selling their house all the time we're putting in aging in place uh, and safety features yeah but but I grab bar for kids so yeah. important yep exactly in this case this oh. is a whole new bathroom uh, I brought this uh, pedestal tubs are becoming very very popular um, the tile detail that went across here for any water that's splashing uh, the big half round window real nice effect in there uh -huh. brings in a ton of light into that bathroom it's a real large window that is just as big as that tub and that tub is a five footer mm. so that's a real large window tall vanities uh, and, and pantries to go on top of the countertops granite tops uh, real classical look whites uh, uh, natural tile went on the floors there. Uh, real nice finishes. Yeah, so even yeah. if you have like a, a historically correct home, you could have something like that put sure, in. It'd be sure. modern and yet, you know, speak to the age of the house. Oh, like this one. one. Yeah. yeah, and another one we brought with us today to show you again the different <laughs> different looks, right? This is a total different look than that last one. Um, again, large window that went on the outside to let to flood the whole room with light. A uh, little different tile detail in here, but tile going all the way around the perimeter of that bathroom. That was a real large bathroom they had plenty of room mm -hmm. um, to be able to get that tub in they had a walk-in shower and then they have large vanities and you could get one. windows with the blinds put in right you can get windows yeah. with the blinds you we can change window sizes some people actually are eliminating windows we're just putting large oh. transoms in love it yeah love it love the candlesticks we this brought nice. this this is a glass top okay so on top of this this is all glass you can actually get the color of the glass change from underneath oh. uh, it's a white undermounted sink uh, brush nickel hardware one in that bathroom real shaker style cabinets real mm -hmm. plain front those are very popular these days we're probably selling more shaker style cabinets than ever um, real crisp and clean look again this is a little more difficult to, to keep clean I probably wouldn't suggest it in a house with a lot of family mm -hmm. but this was a single person that wanted right. something different all right listen we want to let everybody know that when Mike and his crew come out they will check walls floors windows they're gonna make sure your plumbing is okay your electrical that's what they do. You can think about aging in place ideas as well. And if you like them on Facebook, um, they can even help with financing. So again, don't have company into that bad bathroom. Call Mike Washington, call Ivy Leap Construction today. And here is the new address, folks. They are moving as of today, 765 Walk Road in North Tonawanda. Give them a call and log on today to ivyleapconstruction.com. You'll be smiling in no time.